yes guys welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal podcast my name is Kosi back with another video I wanted to talk about Emi Buendia today but I had no update until Chris Whitley spoke about a potential swap deal that Arsenal are considering a player plus cash for Emi Buendia will Norwich accept is it something that we've got to do as Arsenal in such a deal please do smash the like button subscribe to the channel let me know your thoughts in the comment box Arsenal has gone back to its old ways um, of wanting to join players Genduzi plus money for Messi is that the way have we gone back to our old transfer business even before we signed in one player I thought we had changed I thought we had changed please do use one expert um, they sponsor this video and they have sponsored my videos for um, for this month so make sure you do um check out one expand link is in the description they'll give you the best odds um in terms of betting the best odds in terms of um you know match fixing so what you have to do uh, is use promo code cosi you'll win bonuses um up to 130 dollars you'll win uh prizes you'll win um smart screens uh smart um smartphones and so many other things that is how beautiful they are i want us to look at the chris whitley update who says arsenal are looking at bringing in a goal scoring midfielder as a priority but they are looking at also they're also considering getting in emi buendia on a swap deal this is what uh chris whitley said uh, he says arsenal are looking to raise in excess um of 60 million with um uh, with player sales this summer I need to sell before they can buy with Norwich midfielder Emi Buendia, um, Emiliano Buendia at the top of their wish list. That's the first update uh, we have. And of course, uh, you know, he says that Arsenal are exploring the possibility of including a player uh, in a potential deal for Emi Buendia, who is keen on joining um, the club. Although Arsenal have, um, although Arsenal have yet to make a formal approach to Norwich with any deal expected to come after uh, with any deal expected to come after they sell players that is still as per Chris Whitley Whitley is um is a journalist with football.london and I think he's one of those really credible journalists so if you see something from Whitley uh, Chris Whitley something from Charles Watts something from uh, Fabrizio just know that is on point so that is the first thing we have to talk about uh, in this video um arsenal are considering are exploring the you know exploring the possibility of including a player in a potential deal for buendia who is keen on joining uh, the club although arsenal have not yet made any formal approach to know it uh, with any deal expected after we sell players so it looks like we've gone back to last summer uh, we have to first sell players to buy. I mean, at, at the moment, we, we, we have the likes of ja Granit Xhaka are leaving. We have the likes of uh, Hector Bellerin. Apparently, Ria Betis is interested, uh, but there is no formal contact. Roma are in talks with Arsenal to see that Granit Xhaka joins the club. Um, and the, uh, the talks are in advanced stages. But I'm still looking at Arsenal going for a swap deal, a player plus cash deal. Um, for Emi Buendia, could it work? For, for, for Yabis Bisuma, uh, it's a little bit different because Bis, um, Brighton went in Ketia and they need a striker. But who could that player be that Arsenal could get and add money for Emi Buendia? Probably Joe Willock. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at our, our players and I'm asking myself, who is the player know which would take um in this as in this current arsenal squad and, and obviously um i'm not getting the right player either mateo genduzi probably um or joe willock or edin ketia but i think no you will be looking to get cash in order to replace the player so i, I don't expect no to accept you know a player uh plus cash deal but anyway um i think we are going back to where uh, you know to the true arsenal at the beginning of this summer we are very excited um, how Arsenal are gonna splash cash? How Arsenal um, want to get you know go back to how you know to, to being great again? Now we've gone back to the same position. We want to do players plus cash. Of course, you understand the financial situation uh, of the club. We've got to sell, but um, for a club like Norwich, there is no player you're gonna give them 
uh, if they're giving you Emi Buendia at the moment, there's no player, uh, at least they have not shown any interest um, in, in, in any of the Arsenal uh, players available. So what we have to do, sell your players, sell Granit Xhaka, sell uh, Hector Bellerin, sell Alex Dan Lekas, sell whoever you have to sell, um, sell whoever you feel is going to leave the club uh, and then pay the money. 35 million pounds, um, that's big money for Arsenal. But it's an ordinary deal. If it was City, if it was Manchester United, if it was Liverpool, uh, they could have done this deal. I mean, uh, Liverpool signed Jota £45 million. They did add a player. United have signed uh, the likes of Paul Pogba. It wasn't a swap deal. And we have also signed the likes of um, Nicola Pepe. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a swap deal. So um, the mo at the moment, I would agree that Arsenal do not have a lot of money um, you know, at, at our exposure. So we might need to sell... But the idea of adding a player, this is going to frustrate Norwich and they're going to start listening in from other clubs. They're going to listen in from um, other clubs available because the moment a club starts, you know, that, you know, th that piece, this, we want to add a player, we want to do this, we want to do that. Um, it shows that we are not serious. I mean, all the, you know, all the reports claim Arsenal wants to get in a, a goal scoring midfielder, Arsenal want Emi Buendia, blah, 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 blah. But in terms of you know, seriousness. I don't think Arsenal are that serious. Um, it, it, you know, especially in terms of negotiations, um, especially in terms of um, showing their real interest. These are players that are going, uh, you know, out in, in, in Euros, in Copa America. Um, it's going to be a very tough summer. Players are playing in, in, in Euro. Um, you know, you have to negotiate deals um, as players are away, you know, in, in Euro. So it's going to be a very, very tough summer. And I think um, Arsenal have to step up on their level of seriousness. But again, on the uh, on the other side, financially, it's not a bad deal. Um, if only Norwich can agree to it. I don't see Norwich agreeing to it. I don't see Norwich um, saying we are gonna take a player, um, you know, and, and cash. I, I think they will want money. They will want um, their thirty-five or forty million pounds. But it would be a good deal for us, though, know, especially you know, um, depending on the financial crisis the uh, the club is in. Uh, we have taken out another loan. I will do a video about that. We have taken out an, another loan from um, Stanby Bank. We're gonna dis we, we shall discuss that um, and what it literally means for um, Arsenal Football Club and the summer. Um, of course, at the moment, you expect any money that comes in at the club is gonna focus on the summer. And the next season, probably we can be able to refinance, uh, you know, to, to finance our, you know, ourselves by fans coming back to the pitch um, and more TV revenue and, and blah, blah, blah. Of course, we don't have Europa League football. We don't have any Champions League football. We don't have any UEFA uh, competition we are participating in. And that means lesser and lesser money. But people, what do you think about Emi Buendia uh, joining us no, in that swap deal? A player plus cash. Do you think it will happen? We are considering it just like us. I mean, last summer, um, we, we had Genduzi plus cash for our, it was rejected. We had uh, reports say that we had Genduzi for uh, plus cash for Messi. Um, and, and, and we were, you know, really made trash on Twitter. So that's, that's the way Arsenal make their deals. That's the way Arsenal do their deals. But I don't, I, I don't even know what to say about this. If Norwich chase us, it's gonna be the you know it's gonna be just like the house in our situation it's gonna be just like the house in our deal um last summer they chased us with uh Mateo Genduzi, and then we started struggling you know uh, trying to uh, uh update our our beads until we failed uh the reports have it that you know we, we have an offer of 23 million pounds and that is way too low and i think that's the reason that's why arsenal want to uh put at, at least a player uh, to see that you know we can actually do a player plus cash it's good um for us no financially but it's not a good deal uh in the in, in this transfer window if if you know you know if you annoy Norwich, if you frustrate them they have a couple of options i mean villa is there i uh, don't expect you know uh, you know don't, don't be surprised if Norwich settle a deal with villa i mean villa will have the money uh, if Grealish leaves, uh, the only difference you know, they have is they'll have to wait for Villa to sell Grealish. But, I mean, if, if it's City and they're serious about Grealish, you know how City do their business. As, as soon as, um, you know, the player wants to join and, and, and the club wants to sell, that's a done deal. So, you know, I, I mean, if I see Wendy are joining Aston Villa... I want. I will regret um, as an uh, as an Arsenal fan, but it won't be something new, and it won't be a big surprise to me. But anyway, uh, what do you think about um, you know a potential swap deal, and which player would you give in 
to get Emmy Buendia. In my case, I think um, with the quality we have, I think it's Joe Willock, Rhys Nelson, um, Eddie Nketiah. I think that is uh, those are that is um, you know the lot that will actually we will consider uh, as we try to get Emmy Buendia. Probably and um, and Mateo Genduzi. The, the the links that Saliba will you know could be added in any deal. Those ones have been trashed, and I'll speak that, uh, speak about that, you know, yeah, you know, in, in a separate video, and talk about uh, Saliba's future and his situation and contract situation with Arsenal. For the uh, for the meantime, please do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe, and of course, link is in the description. If you want to bet with one expert, please do consider betting with one expert because they have the biggest odds and the very 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 unique uh, prizes at um, you know awards that uh, you know awards um, attracts me to their uh, website so you're gonna win, win prizes you're gonna win so many things you're gonna um, be able to get the best odds you can see um, the Manchester City game Manchester City Chelsea I don't want a Chelsea to I don't want Chelsea to win that um, final but you could bet with one expert and you could also bet on transfers I'm going to um, um bring you some bring you some banners you could bet on transfers where will ronaldo go where will mbappe go probably where will emi buendia go you're gonna bet on these transfers how interesting that will be my name is kosi i sign out and i'll speak to you in the next one